On September 1, 1856, the newly formed Diocese of Newark opened Seton Hall College on a plot of land in Madison, New Jersey. Reverend Bernard J. McQuaid served as the school's first president and led a staff of nine to offer instruction to the student body. A total of five young men had enrolled by opening day. By the end of that first year, enrollment had grown more than tenfold to a student body of 54. James Roosevelt Bailey, the first bishop of the new Diocese of Newark, had decided to found the school in an attempt to spread the faith. He named it after his aunt, Elizabeth Ann Seton, who would later become the first American-born saint. Bailey wrote in those early days that he hoped Seton Hall would serve its students as a home not only for the mind, but for the heart and the spirit as well. In 1860, Seton Hall moved to its current location in South Orange and enrollment continued to increase rapidly. In the over 150 years since its founding, Seton Hall has continued to grow, rising to national prominence and educating an increasingly diverse student body to become servant leaders in today's global society. With students from all 50 states and more than 50 countries, the university stands as the oldest and largest diocesan school in the United States. It is on the achievements of those who have gone before us that we now stand united in this time and this place in the legacy of our great alma mater. As those to whom the torches now pass, it is important for us to take a moment to reflect on our university's proud history and traditions. Through learning our history, we honor the legacy of those who have forged the path on which we now walk, and we announce to all we meet that we are proud to be the Pirates. <laughs>